Carolyn, today we're looking at insurance for landlords. What exactly does this type of insurance provide? Uh, insurance for landlords, uh, there's several different policies that landlords can take out, but a very specific landlord policy will provide cover for loss of rent and damages that tenants can cause in a rental property. So it generally leaves landlords um, in the same position they were before the tenant came in rather than being out of, out of pocket. So does it protect against bad tenants? When you're putting a, a tenant into a property, it's very easy to check their rental history and their references may always check out. They'll always dress appropriately when they come to uh, apply for a property. Um, but I guess it's the things that you can't predict. So you can't predict if someone's going to lose their job or if their relationship's going to break down or if they're going to get sick or unfortunately even if they're going to die because those types of things always can happen within a tenancy and so a landlord insurance policy can cover you against those risks as well. Is this type of insurance expensive for landlords? Not at all. Um, when you're looking at a policy that will cover you for your loss of rent, your malicious damage and accidental damage, um, you can even get some tax audit insurance in there as well. The cost is generally around the, the price of one week's rent, so it's not at all expensive. And I think there's a little bit of a misconception um, amongst landlords that it's expensive, and it really isn't at all. And it's tax deductible as well, so um, it's, it's almost almost a no-brainer, I would think. So which type of landlord should have this insurance? Is it the mum and dad investors or someone with multiple investment properties? I would suggest that every landlord would have it. Um, it, it doesn't matter whether you've got one property or 10 properties, the risk is still the same. So um, every tenant is a different tenant, every tenancy is different. Um, so it, it, it would, I wouldn't restrict it at all to mums and dads. Uh, it would be for everyone. So just to summarise, why should landlords have this insurance? to protect their investment income. They're investing in property to grow wealth and if, you, or if your tenant absconds or damages your property, your income's gone while you're getting the property repaired or trying to find a new tenant. So that's why I would suggest you need to have landlord insurance.